Ladies and gentlemen, a big, big hand for the David Allen.
do this, okay? Well, there you have it. There you have it, man. I told you I have to go home with him. So let's get the ball rolling. Our first contestant. Our first contestant is Miss Selena Bihari. Please give her a big round of applause. Come Selena on. is escorted by Mr. Patrick Dukwa.
you to our lovely contestants. Please make some noise for our escorts as well. Such beautiful young people in our community. We want to see such a thank you. And now the moment you all have been waiting for. Ready? I can't hear you. This will Are be. Are you guys nervous? This will be our question and answer segment. Everyone excited? So how the way we do this? We don't call them by in order. We want to make them feel a little bit nervous. So we get it through from your um, from that. Are you guys nervous? So we will pick a number. I will pick a number. And whatever number comes up, we call you, okay? So I'm gonna pick the blue one. And the number is, contestant number two, kindly come up and pick your question. Contestant number two, Miss Ashmita Singh. One of the envelopes. Ashmita, please pick an envelope. And Ambika's gonna read your questions Thank twice you. to you. Please get those phones out, the cameras out. Question for Ashmita. Who is the most influential person in your life and why? Again, who is the most influential person in your life and why? Thank you so much for that question. I would love to answer. Over the years, this is a question I've actually thought about a lot. When I was nine years old, my dad passed away from cancer. So I believe that throughout the rest of my life, he would be the one person to always motivate me to do what I believe is the best to do in my life. However, the person who truly influences me the most would be my mom. Since my dad passed away at a young age, my mom had to take care of three teenagers all by herself, all of us, she was also facing cancer. It wasn't easy for her, just as it wasn't easy for all of us. If someone who went through so many things in their life can overcome all these difficulties, I just know I can get through anything because of my mom. I wish, mom, I know you're looking at me, but I just wish that one day I can be half of the woman you are today. I love you. Thank you all so much. Please, another big round of applause for Thank you. Ashmita Singh. Thank you very much. Now we go into the other number, and I will pick the pink one. And we're calling contestant number four. Contestant number four, Miss Ariana Singh. And pick a question. Question for Ariana. How did you prepare yourself for this pageant and what made you decide to enter? Again, how did you prepare yourself for this pageant and what made you decide to enter? Thank you so much for your question. I prepared myself for this pageant by attending the weekly practices and practicing music every single day. I carry music with my heart. I, music owns me and that's why I performed here for you today. To prepare for this pageant, I also took initiative on my schoolwork so that I would be able to study while I was still doing the pageant preparations. I decided to join this pageant because I would thought it would be a good opportunity to spread culture and help our community grow in ways that it needs to. Our our culture is dying with the younger generations, and I feel that we need to spread the knowledge and the culture and the love that we've all grown up with to the people who are growing up today. Thank you so much. 
Thank you very much, Miss Ariana Thank you, my Singh. Dear. Thank you very much. And we go into the next number. And the number is number three, contestant number three. Please come. Contestant and number three, Miss Shayla Somnarine. Please pick an envelope. Question for Shayla. If you were given a chance to change one thing in your community, what would it be and why? Again, if you were given a chance to change one thing in our community, what would it be and why? As I previously mentioned, uh, one of the goals of mine is to create programs for youth, specifically geared towards teaching them the value of music in our lives. Mike. And not only do I want to incorporate music, but Mental health is something that I've struggled with for a very long time, and I am now learning as an Indo-Caribbean woman how to cope, and I want every other Indo-Caribbean young and older woman to be able to know um, how to handle how they feel, and as well as every other individual, no one excluded. I believe that we need to have a change of how we speak about ourselves in our community as Indo-Caribbean people, we don't really have too many terms in our in our vast language and vernacular to talk about ourselves and our mind in nice and informative ways. And I want to be able to spread the knowledge on how we can all individually and together make ourselves happy and continue that on and pass that on to hopefully our children and the next generations. Thank you, contestant number three, Ms. Shayla Somnarine. Thank you very much. And now we have the last number to pick. And can you guess the last number? Oh, there you go. You guys are paying attention. I like that. They're smart. Contestant number one, Selena. Contestant number one, Selena Bihari. Please pick an envelope. Question for Selena. What is one quality that the Miss Indo-Caribbean Federation 2024 should possess? Again, what is one quality that the Miss Indo-Caribbean Federation 2024 should possess? Thank you, I would love to answer that question. I think that the Indo-Caribbean should possess one quality is to continue encouraging the youths to learn more about the culture and the community and know where we came from because we're celebrating here today because of this event and i would love to be a part of that to teach the younger generation hoping one day they will want to be up on this stage like every one of us and get to know more about the culture and where we came from and about the past thank you thank you contestant number one selena bihari so there you have it you heard it for yourself these are our questions and answers now they will do their final walk before the judge score their their numbers. So judge, how are you feeling? Mr. JP, I want to say a special welcome. Kaylee Prasad, you know, you guys know how it feel. And Shabana, you guys know how it feel. I so you think guys have your person in mind? Yes? I think these contestants are giving our judges a hard time. And, and you know how it felt, right? Because you were once on the stage. Tell me what you're feeling right now for them. I'm feeling nervous for them. I remember when I was standing there, I just feel nervous for them and excited at the same time. Thank you, and you're doing a fabulous job. Isn't she? Come on, put your hands together. Come on, DJ, they will do their final walk and calling their escorts to take them back down.
How are you guys feeling? I know, I know, I know. So now we're collecting the scores and we will be calling the president up and your 2022 beauty queen so she can give her thank you and her last walk on stage. Please give it up for your 2022 Miss ICF Queen, Alyssa Ramnarai. Ralph, to me, please come to the mic. has come to an end. Today is your last day being representing the Indo Caribbean Federation as a queen. However, don't forget us. Hello. Okay, good. The, um, we want to thank her very much for serving the Indo Caribbean Federation, being the queen for the last two years. For fabulous young lady, you know, and um, she's always supportive to me. Anytime you have an event, she's always there. And Lisa, we want to thank you very much for Serving the New Caribbean Federation with pride, dignity, and honor. And we do appreciate that. We appreciate your uncle also in Guyana, you know, who helped me towards the project we did at the Guyana Blind Institute. Our uncle, by the way, is the Minister of Natural Resources in Guyana, Mr. Vikram Bharat. So convey that to him, that we thank him, the New Caribbean Federation thank him. And once again, we want to thank you for being the queen of 2022. Namaste, everybody. I can't believe this is like one of my last speeches I'm gonna give for this federation. So as you all know, my name is Elisa Ramnaris and I'm the 2022 Miss Indo-Caribbean Federation Queen. It is an immense privilege to stand before you this evening, surrounded by incredible talent, beauty, and strength. This journey has been nothing short of extraordinary and I'm profoundly grateful for every moment that has led me to the stage. I believe that true beauty is not just about physical appearance, but about the kindness, the compassion, and the strength that shines within us. As we stand here this evening, we are not only representing ourselves, but the countless women who have paved their way before us. Let's continue to break down barriers and shatter glass ceilings, using our platform to uplift and empower one another. As we walk away from this stage, from this crowd, let us carry the beauty of our hearts with us, spreading love, kindness, and positivity wherever we go. My character has grown extremely much since I won the pageant back in 2022, and joining such a sincere and incredibly amazing organization, and I've been able to connect to many individuals within the community. I will forever be grateful for the ICF family and the wonderful work that they do. This nonprofit organization does no, numerous amounts of charity endeavors to aid the underprivileged in addition to working towards the advancement of society. An excellent illustration of this will be in fact that in only five minutes, the group members gathered a sizable sum amount of money for Queen's families who lost a loved one in a horrific fire. They provide assistance to people not only in Guyana, but also in the United States. The win. Sorry. They have worked with the Blind Institute in Georgetown, Guyana to reconstruct the sanctuary where people with disabilities reside. They also helped the Port Moran Hospital and they did the Laguan Maternity Ward to make it safe for mothers and their newborn babies to arrive. Having been raised in the Bronx, New York, I knew very nothing about cricket, but through the ICF, who are major cricket fans, may I just say, they taught me about cricket and they opened up my eyes. I will forever cherish each and every memory that I have shared with the ICF. One in particular is the senior luncheon where I made many, many friends and I will forever cherish them in my heart. As a pre-medical biology major in college, my life felt like a never-ending schedule and I did not spend a lot of time with people outside of the classroom. Surrounding myself with the ICF was the finest things that I could have done since it increased the amount of love, laughter, and wonderful memories in my life. To everyone who has supported me on this journey, my family, my friends, my mentors, and the incredible pageant community, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your belief in me has been my greatest motivation. Thank you for the hardworking executives who helped to make each event possible. And to Uncle Ralph Tomej for making everything possible as he works behind the scenes. Thank you all for coming out tonight and good luck to whoever the new queen is. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Alicia. Not time, but she made every effort, she and her parents, her family, supporting us, coming all the way from the Bronx for practice. All, and when she became queen, 
she came regularly to all of our, our events. So we would like to thank you, and I would like you to do your last walk. <laughs> so you ready? Yes. So let's do this. Take it away, DJ. Come on, give our back a big round of applause to Lisa. Our ICF queen for 2022.
welcome and I love you all. Maybe next year you see me here again. I can't go more. Time is unlimited. Love you all. Let's give it up for the Firishman.
Lord because we didn't get that. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for Vanessa Maduro. It's happy birthday for her, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for her, Vanessa. Ashmita Singh. Shaila Sumnarai. Ariana Singh. Come on, girls, give me a turn. One last turn. Oh, wow, are they all beautiful? Ralph, are you ready? Firstly, I want to thank the judges, J.P. Suku, uh, 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 J. Lee Prasad, and also Shivana Sabir. Tough job for these ladies today, but you know, they always have to be a winner, they always have to be a loser. However, you guys are all winners. I always say that, you guys are all winners, because there's thousands of people out there, young ladies, and you guys took it upon yourself to be here and to represent the ICF. Sorry. And we want to thank you for your participation. And don't forget us. You know, no. we're always here. We've been here for 40 years. All right. So yes. um, Rarita is going to take over here. So this is how we, we, we always have the queen, the first runner up, the second runner up, right? But we had a couple more girls. And due to school and sickness and all these things, some of them dropped out. But we have four girls. So with ICF and the team, seems that it's fit to make them all a winner. Don't you all agree? Yeah. So we'll have the third runner-up, the second runner-up, the first runner-up, and then the ICF Beauty Queen of 2004, 24, right? So don't you think that's fair? Because it's really bad if I, I didn't want to be up here, then me alone live. <laughs> Imagine how me mouth would have been long. So Ralph, I'm trying to peep, but I know um, time is um, closing up. So we'll take it from the bottom up. So the third runner-up is? Our third runner-up is Miss Selena Vinhari. support us. Thank you very much. Another round of applause for Miss Selena Bihari. I am looking at the three to the left and I'm looking at the expression and I'm getting nervous for them. So let's now go with the, the second runner, runner up. up is the second runner up is Miss Shayla Shonara. First runner up, please come up. We ask our two last contestants, please take the front center of the stage. <sighs> Are you guys nervous? Yeah. What is going through your mind right now? I'm really nervous, but regardless of what happens, both of us are a queen. All of us are queens, actually. And also, I'm so excited to be in this, this pageant because I've met so many beautiful young ladies, and I can't wait to explore my relationships with them in the future. Oh, good answer. I trained you very well. Good answer. As of right now, my head is spinning. I'm so nervous, but no matter the outcome, I will be happy because I got to participate in this amazing pageant, meet so many people like 
Miss Lolita, Miss <laughs> Auntie Lolita, and Miss Ashmeet is standing next to me along with the other girls as well. So we're ready to announce the queen of 2004. Oh, that's right. Two, two, 2024. 2024. And the queen is. Your 2024 ICF Queen is Ashmita Singh! That makes your first runner-up, Miss Ariana Singh! Congratulations! Thank you very much. And this is from the park and shipping. And the first prize is from Mark Home Center. Thank you. The park and, and yes, the park and the, the crown has been donated by Rihanna Design Exclusive. Come on, let's hear some excitement. going everywhere but I just want to thank you all first for coming to the Indo-Korean Federation pageant it means a lot to have you all here and have you watching us thank you to Auntie Lolita, Uncle Anand and Uncle Ralph for organizing this event and we're all just so grateful me Ariana, Selena and Shyla we're all so grateful to have you guys and have us have you guys prepare us for the future and I hope that we can do a lot more for the community with this new title that I have been given. Thank you guys so much. Your ICF 2024 queen, Miss Put your hands Ashmita together. Meet the Singh. Put your hands together for the ICF Beauty Queen 2024. 